Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I was talking about the Bitcoin private fork coming at the end of February and um, why you should be holding your Z Classic in its own wallet. And it seems that the Electrum wallet is the one that is being um, recommended by the developers uh, from what I'm seeing on the Discord chat and on their GitHub as well. So this is the one that I'm going to show you in this video. They also have another wallet on the website. It's called Elios wallet. And I had a older version of that. I actually did a video that is quite popular of uh, how to set up the Elios wallet. But right now I've moved my Z Classic to Electrum and I think that it will be better to be using the Electrum just because that's what I'm seeing being recommended. Also, it's important to know your private keys to, to your wallet. If you had a previous wallet and you want to set it up now with Electrum, you can do that if you have the private key from that wallet. And uh, also later on, when you need to be um, claiming the tokens for Bitcoin private after the fork, you will also need to know your private key because quite possibly you will have to import that private key into another wallet. Or perhaps they will do a support for Electrum, so it might actually be much easier than having to export and import. But in any case, I'm going to show you right now how to set up the Electrum wallet, how to import the private key if you already have from a previous wallet, and also how to grab your private key from the addresses that Electrum will generate for you. So that later on when you need these private keys, you have them saved and ready. Okay, so let me go to my computer now and show you how to set it up. Okay, so the choices here, you have Electrum Wallet, Elios and Paper Wallet. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you Electrum, uh, but let me just quickly show you what Elios looks like. I downloaded it. It's a very simple wallet. Uh, I'm not going to take too much time with it. You have to just choose which is the operating system that you want to run. This is the link that I clicked. I came to this page and here I downloaded this file. And uh, that's everything. I didn't really have to do any other setups or anything like that. Um, it's still loading right now. I just opened it and it takes some time to load because it is downloading um, all of the information from the blockchain into your computer. So it, it, it takes a while to load. And then after it loads the actual wallet, it will continue synchronizing and downloading all of the files from the blockchain. So I will not really be doing that right now. I will just show you what it looks like and then I will close it. So this is the interface. You have, um, your, if you have any balance, it will be showing up here. This button will show you your address. If you need to send money, this will be the button that you need to use. That's everything. You don't really have much else. You can see right here, it's uh, downloading. And uh, right now it's only downloaded 1.2%. So um, I don't really want to spend the time to wait for all of the information to load, but it's uh, pretty much the information that it needs in order to find out what is your actual balance. And uh, this is a brand new wallet and I haven't really imported any private keys here, so I don't really have a balance. I'm going to exit this. And um, let's continue with uh, the Electrum setup. So from the website, I'm going to download it from here. This is the link and I will be using the latest version, which is 1.0.3 and I'm using the Windows version as well. It starts downloading here as a zip. Okay, and this is almost downloaded. Now, when it's downloaded, I will have to unzip it and then I will install it. Let's go to the folder. Now I'm going to extract. Okay, so this is the unzipped file. I'm going to double click this. And here I'm going to stick with auto connect. I will leave it as default wallet. I'm not going to change that. And here I can choose whether to install it as a standard wallet, multi signature or import Z classic address or private keys. Now, let's assume that this is the first time you're downloading the wallet, so you will choose standard wallet. If you already have a private key, you can go straight here and you can import it, but you can also just download it as a standard wallet and later on you can import a private key. So let's go with this option here. I'm going to click next and I will create a new seed. 
that new seed means that this will be a new wallet with its own secret private phrase and everything and now here we can you, you can't really see it but uh, this is a string of words that i need to keep this is my seed and uh, this is what i will need in order to recover this particular wallet so um, i'm going to copy this and i will open a new document i'm going to paste and i'm going to save them somewhere or i might even just write them down on a piece of paper somewhere else that is not really in my computer so that it's not uh, easy to be hacked okay and then i'm going to click next and here i will have to confirm seed so because i already copied it i'm just going to paste it and i'm going to click next and now i'm going to choose a password i will confirm it and i will continue next step okay let's confirm i will keep this encrypted next and uh, this is now my wallet it is very simple nothing really to display here because it's brand new there's no amount no balance nothing i can uh, get my address if i click on receive and now it's displaying my public address this is the address that, that i will need to use when i need to send money into this wallet if i want to send money from this wallet i go here i will have to paste the address that i need to send to you know confirm the amount and that's it this is pretty much everything here now what i need to do is if i want to be restoring a wallet from a previous wallet so i have a private key i will click on restore now i will call this wallet one and i will click next and here i will choose to import private keys i'll click next again and now i have a few of my old wallets here with the private keys bear in mind they don't have any coins in there and they will stay empty so just so you know this is the wallet address here and the longer one is the private key so i'm going to copy this and i will paste it here and i will click next and that will basically open this wallet it opens it in a separate window and uh, here we can see that there's also no amount no balance there's nothing in there but i can see that this this is the wallet address and if i compare it to the file that i have t1q okay and it ends on git that's the one so right now i'm accessing this wallet and if i had any money in this wallet if i had any z classic it was going to be showing up here we can also check here this is the explorer of z classic so this is going to show me from the blockchain what is the record on my wallet let's just get that address so I'm copying that i'm going to paste it here and we can see that it's with zero z classic this is why we're not seeing anything in this wallet okay so these are the basic functions so far uh, this is how to set up your wallet how to import a private key if you need to if you need to export your private keys if you want to know what are your private keys because later on when the fork happens when bitcoin private is forked you will need to claim these bitcoin private tokens and to do that you will need to use these private keys to unlock these tokens you will probably need to have them saved somewhere so to do that you will go to view show addresses and now you will come here to addresses you will have a list of addresses that have been created already with this wallet now as you can see in all of these addresses my balance is of zero but as you start transferring coins into this wallet they will be going into some of these addresses maybe in one of them maybe in more than one so you can quickly just choose the address where you have a balance and you will right click and you will come to private key and as you click on private key it's going to first ask you for your password and as you confirm your password it's going to display your private key 
it's showing you the address here this is the public address this is the private key so this is what you will need in order to later on import this private key into the wallet of Bitcoin private and then you will be able to claim the tokens. Thank you.